Hi guys, it's Nancy and I'm back with another video using the new solar paste from Simon Hurley Create. You have six different colors of this paste and when you use it on white cardstock, it just looks like it's pearlescent. But when you use it on dark cardstock, you can see the color kind of comes through. Um, so here is one I showed um, and this was wet previously, so you didn't see the color. You'll have to check my previous video. But now that it's all dry, you can see all that wonderful color come through. And then for the flames, I brought in some lunar paste. And this is called Shooting Star. So you can see how they work together beautifully. They're the same consistency. The difference is these look really cool on they kind of change colors. Like color shifting is what I keep calling it on light or dark cardstock. So if you missed that video... Here's what the colors look like when they're swatched out. And you can see on the white paper how they just look to the naked eye, kind of pearlescent. And then when you shift the light on them, you can see that color pop through. And then on the black, it's obviously more evident on the black. And then I showed what it looked like if you did it on top of embossing folder. So look at the difference. Here is an embossing folder. And this one, I believe, was the Cross My Heart. So it's very subtle. It looks like you just used pearlescent paper. It doesn't show a lot of color. But if you have a simple sentiment, look at how easy that is to turn into a card. Okay. Even on the black. Beautiful, right? And I also did some stamping and we did some painting. So again, to the naked eye, this just looks white. But when you tilt it in the light, all those colors kind of pop through. So very iridescent, translucent, lots of fun with this. Well, I had another idea today um, using them with this ghost stencil. So this is from Simon Hurley as well, and it is just called Ghosted. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool to have these ghosts because they will look whatever color on white paper, but they'll look really cool on the dark. So we're gonna just do two card panels real quick here with these, and then I'll have my I'll have my Halloween card. So this already has some pixie dust still stuck on it from last time I used it. But let's say we're gonna make our ghost kind of beluga, beluga blue. Okay, and all you do is you just grab your palette knife And this has a really kind of like an ultraviolet blue look. And you put it on as thick or as thin as you want it. The thinner it is, the more translucent it is, the more of that color is going to show through. The thicker it is, the more opaque it's going to look. And you're going to have more of that pearl look to it, kind of a white pearl. And then I'm just going to scrape off any of the excess here. And keep in mind, too, for those of you that enjoy foiling, you can even foil over this if you wanted to. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. And then when it dries, it's going to have that kind of iridescent blue look, but you'll definitely be able to see the ghost. They'll be kind of this color right here. So... That's going to look really neat. I'm just going to put that aside to dry. But let's try that same look on white cardstock. And I'm just going to use a little wipey here. Clorox wipe. Not even going to clean my stencil off. Just going to go right back into it here. And whatever excess you have, you can put right back in the jar. Now, you might want to use a longer spatula or smoother. Um, it will give you a smoother application so you don't have the lines that I have. But it's just about taking your time. Okay. 
And you'll notice I'm trying to kind of just swipe in one direction. You don't want to go like up, down, back and forth too much because then it could cause your paste to kind of slip underneath your stencil. And we don't want that. We want this to be generally pretty smooth, pretty even. Just want to make sure that everybody has a little bit of paste. And then again, any extra can just be scooped back into the jar. Put the lid on. And there it is on the white. So when this dries, it will look almost like a translucent pearl, but it will have this kind of bluish effect to it. So make sure you keep an eye out. I'll take some pictures for you guys to see that. We're just gonna set that aside and allow it to dry. And then cleanup is pretty easy. You can definitely just take this up to the sink. I don't have a sink down in my basement, but I could go upstairs and just wipe it with a little soap and water or um, a little Clorox wipey will do. So you can use these in the same way you use lunar paste Again, you can use it over embossing folders once um, just a little dry application. I used it with a paintbrush with a little bit of water. Um, you could flick it with your paintbrush and get kind of specks. Um, and you can do all kinds of things with it. But it's just a matter of how the effect is. It's very subtle on white cardstock and more of an effect on dark cardstock. So you kind of have two different ways that you can play with it. So definitely try them out. Let me know down in the comments, do you think the ghosts are gonna look better on the white cardstock or the dark cardstock? I think they're gonna look better on the white cardstock because you're really not gonna see them. You'll know that they're there. They're not invisible, but they're gonna be kind of cool with that colored haze on there. And that's all it takes to clean everything up without having to go to a sink. I just let that dry and then put that away. If you have any questions, post them down below. I'll put the link down below for you guys. There are six colors of solar paste. And again, they are new from Simon Hurley Create. You can get them from Ranger. You can get them from Simon Says Stamp. You can get them from scrapbook.com. I will put the links down below for you guys. So we have Cross My Heart, Overheated, Golden Hour, Crocodile Tears, Beluga, and Royal Flush. So six new colors. In addition to the regular Lunar Paste, which come in many different colors now, um, these are the six brand new editions called Solar Paste. And you can see they all look white and kind of have this pearlescent look to them, which they do when they are put on white paper, as you can see here. But then as soon as you add them to dark cardstock, look at that effect. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and keep on stamping. Bye.